Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming outside just because I wanted a different scenery and background. So if you hear wind chimes or wind or cars, that's why. Um, today I wanted to do an updated anxiety and depression video and life update kind of because it has been two years since I posted that video and when I first started my channel I really wanted to you know get my story out there and help others feel like they're not alone and you know kind of destigmatize what comes around with anxiety and depression and any mental illness for that matter so um, today I'm going to talk about where I am at now and how it's been the last two years so I believe when I first posted that video, I think it was mid, I was halfway done with my junior year. So um, going into senior year, I never really got to transition back into Branham as a full-time student. I was on um, home and hospital still, but um, for me, it was really important for me to be there for senior year just because a lot of it was going to be my first and last and I did want to make sure I did get the you know high school experience in a way but um I should have filmed this video sooner honestly but I don't know I kind of got caught up in life and everything but senior year from what I remember was mostly fine I got to go to homecoming I went to prom my best friends and I, we all went to Disneyland and it was like a big trip. Um, we, I went to the Philippines and Tokyo after I graduated and I was there for a month. So overall, senior year of high school was fine. Um, I think it was that March of senior year is when I stopped going to therapy and I stopped taking medication. So as you guys know, last time I checked in with you, I believe I was on th three or five different medications for my anxiety, insomnia, and all that. And as of right now, I haven't been taking any, any medications for over a year. Now almost two years in March. But, um, so yeah, I graduated high school. Um, it was fun. It was great. I was really glad I got most of that high school experience that I was wanting. And then after, um, I decided to stay home and go to a community college, um, not in San Jose, it's in Los Altos. I go to Foothill College. I wanted something new where I could still get that almost new college experience and I felt like I wouldn't have really gotten that if I went to West Valley or De Anza because a lot of my friends went there. And it's not like I didn't want to be with my friends or anything. I just, you know, wanted something new. And that's what college is all about. So transferring into Foothill, it was really hard at me for me at first. But I was still kind of hard-headed and I didn't want to go back to therapy or, you know, because I was doing really well. And I didn't, I think it was just like what any high school going into college student would be experiencing really anxious and it's nerve-wracking and exciting but for me I was really anxious because I never got taught I don't want to say like I never got taught properly it's just what I learned was the very basic and broad knowledge of what I needed to do in order to get my diploma and then going into college you're supposed to know all this and I barely had like surface level knowledge so for me it was really hard and luckily I had great academic advisors and great um, disability advisors. So for me I get accommodation still for my anxiety and depression through Foothill. Um, I wouldn't say, I would say it's similar to a 504 plan. It's not as intense as an IEP but so I get accommodations like if I need um, to record my teachers or my professors lectures I can with their approval of course um, I can take my tests in a testing center instead of in the classroom I get extended time on tests and homework assignments um, there's a bunch more but to this day I'd say I'd only really use the testing center just because I'm still very test anxious and 
being in the classroom just brings up old memories of like comparing myself and thinking I'm not smart enough and you know and just self-doubting and I don't want to be doing that when I'm taking a test but overall my transition to college was pretty good um through that first quarter I met my boyfriend which you guys saw in the Disney vlog we've been dating for almost four, 14 months now so that's exciting um yeah, but over, I wanted to film this after my first year at Foothill, but then I never got around to it again. I know I've been slacking on my YouTube game, but I recently just posted an everyday school makeup video. So by the time this gets up, it'll already be up. So I'll link it down below if you guys want to watch it. But yeah, so I did pretty well academically at um, school. It was just really important to me that I you know, talk to my professors and let them know, hey, I never really had a traditional learning environment throughout high school. I suffer from anxiety and depression, and sometimes, you know, I'm here, but I'm not, like, physically there, or I'm not mentally there. Like, I'm physically there, but I'm not mentally there, so it's hard for me to learn. And honestly, for any advice for you guys going into college, I think it's just really important that you communicate with your professors. They really appreciate that. And at least with my experience, all my professors have been really accommodating and really nice and they offer me extra help if I'm not understanding the subject or anything. So if anything, I'm really glad how Foothill's been going. So I think that's one of the main reasons why I was so successful my first year. Um, I remember I was so happy because my first quarter I got A's and B's and I haven't had an A or a B since I don't even know like middle school because I wasn't really at high school but yeah so I was really excited in my fall winter quarter or my winter and spring quarter I continued getting straight A's so that's really exciting um, overall in school and like academically I've been doing a lot better than I ever imagined I thought not going to home and like doing home and hospital was really gonna like I don't know just not benefit me and like really hold me back for my goals um, but it didn't so it kind of just shows you that you anything you believe in and you put enough hard work and time into it you can be successful um, I didn't mention this but I am a psychology major so I'm at my second year at Foothill I'm about to finish up my fall quarter right now I have all A's but like two of them are borderline so I'm really hoping I'll get all A's, um, finals are in two weeks, so I'm really nervous about that, but, um, yeah, overall college has been great, it's so much better than high school, I'm, I just think that I'm finally in a good place, and I do still have trip ups with my anxiety and depression, like recently, since it is, um, getting daylight savings and all that, um, just like, um, any other person that's been diagnosed with depression I still do have seasonal depression so around this um, time it's really hard for me I lost both my grandparents who are were very important to me and I miss them so much so that's always hard and then you know the holidays it just makes you miss people even more and it's the reason that's like seasonal depression it's, it has to do with the lighting and I don't remember exactly like the proper terms, but because it's darker, quicker, it allows you to kind of like kind of be sad. I'm not a psychologist yet, so like don't hold me accountable. But yeah, so it's been a little rough, I'm not gonna lie, but at first I was really embarrassed because I didn't want to admit that I was going through this again. And it's really scary, you know, when you've been doing well for so long and these feelings come up, you're kind of like, well, like, I haven't dealt with this in so long, and luckily I have a really good supportive family and my boyfriend, and I was able to talk to them about it. Um, I might go back to therapy, I'm not sure. I've been doing a little bit better now since our talk, but like I said, it never hurts to have a therapist and talk it out with someone who doesn't know you and give you a, give you, like, hey, like, your feelings aren't, they're valid, but that's not actually who you are and all that stuff. You're stronger than that. So 
I don't know, I've still been working along with that. Um, I say for my anxiety, it's mostly still social anxiety, like meeting new people and big crowds. Um, and then I guess like just, it's n like I feel like for my anxiety for most part, it's just like normal anxiety. So like test and um, I don't know, I just have a lot of school anxiety and stress, which is completely normal. I feel like overall, throughout these past two years, I've really, I don't want to say level out, because I will always have my peaks and downs and all that, but I've really come to a nice baseline where I have the coping skills to handle anything that comes at me, and, you know, yeah. I don't know if this makes any sense at all. I, I was saying in my other video, I've been so nervous to come back on YouTube because it's been so long, but... I felt that was really important that I gave an updated story because I am doing so well and I just want to be, show like, show people who are going through this that like to stay hopeful and it will turn around and it just really takes time and I know it's really cheesy and cliche and like if I was in your position I'd be like, no, like you don't know what you're talking about but now that I've come to the other side I guess, I'm just, you just, yeah, just stay hopeful, don't don't get too lost in your emotions I guess I don't know it's it's weird but yeah so for like my anxiety and depression I feel like I really have a handle of it now um, I'm transfer I'm hoping to transfer um, next year to UC I just submitted all my applications not too long ago um, I'm not sure, I might stay at Foothill another year and get two associate's degrees instead because I'm not sure if I'm going to finish on time, but yeah, so like that's school, but yeah, <laughs> I have a boyfriend, what? Big life update, and we've been dating for almost a year and we only have one video together. Um, I'm going to try to get him onto my channel and maybe he can do my makeup or I can do his makeup or... A lot of you guys are asking for my dad to come back on my channel, so maybe I'll do like dad versus boyfriend tag, makeup challenge, something. I think that will be a lot of fun. Um, what else is going on in my life? The camera shut off again. I still haven't gotten a new camera and I don't want to because I'm not so consistent with YouTube, but um, I was saying that I finally feel like I'm in a good place where I don't feel anxiety or stress talking about school just because I'm so proud of myself how I've done the past year. Um, I recently, oh, because I'm a psychology Mary, yeah, <laughs> because I'm a psycholo psychology major, um, I've been really applying myself to the field, so. Um, uh, a couple of months ago, I got a job as a behavioral skills technician, so I get to work with kids who have autism and, you know, kind of help them, but I haven't been able to start because of my knee. I'm hoping it's not serious because I really want to work there soon. Um, what else? I'm in, at Foothill, I'm at Psy, I'm in Psy Beta, which is an honor society for psychology majors. Um, we get to go to, like, all these different events, hopefully. I'm hoping to get my research paper project um, into the WPA. Um, me and a couple of group members, not my whole group is not doing it. Um, what else? I don't think there's anything else to update you guys on. I kind of feel bad that I waited so long to do an updated anxiety and depression video but I think I really needed this time to kind of fully develop I would say because I think even if I did it after high school it would have been still so new that I don't really know where life is at and my perspective on my anxiety and depression and I think I think I should have done after my first year but it's only been two quarters since my first year the spring or the summer and almost at the end of this quarter so I don't know hopefully this video was helpful for you guys hopefully for anyone going through a mental illness this gives you hope and reminds you that you can do it and 
you will get to the other side it just takes time patience you know you always got to work on it now i'm not saying that like i never have anxiety or depression because i do i probably always will it's a part of life but right now i feel like i'm finally in a good place and i'm not i have a better handle on it i'm not suffering as much because i do suffer a little just I have a better grip on everything and yeah I just I just wanted to remind you guys that you can get better and you will get better just I know it's really frustrating and it seems like you'll never get out of that dark tunnel but trust me you will and honestly we are one of the strongest people ever we're so mentally strong we're constantly fighting with ourselves in our brain and being kind of abusive to ourselves but Trust me, it's worth it once you get to the other side. You're just so happy. And I think you guys can tell that I'm really happy. <laughs> my last time, from the last time I did my anxiety and depressive video, I'm pretty sure I was crying in it. And yeah, you could just tell how sad and angry I was at the world. And now I'm just so happy to finally experience life and not worry so much about what's gonna happen and how am I gonna get there and not be so sad and understand that life will have its sad moments, but you gotta just think positive and look at positive things. So yeah, that's all. I just wanted to check in and update with you guys. Um, hopefully I'll get more videos out. I'm currently pre-filming. I have finals in the next week so I'm just trying to film up and then edit so hopefully by winter break I can just do a bunch of filming and get a whole bunch of videos out I really miss YouTube I YouTube was a great outlet for me for when I was really anxious and depressed since I wasn't going to school so I really want to get back into it I want to come up with more tips to help you guys and more ways to be happy I guess I don't know um, Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll link last week's video down below. I'll link my social media if you guys want to follow me. Comment down any um, video. Vid Comment down any video ideas you guys have for me or you want to see. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.